Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in World Blues using the Courier 6 submod for Hearts of Iron 4. Now I've used this submod before but at the time of this recording there was an updated version for it or at least a version that's compatible with the current World Blues but we'll begin with Judgment Day. In 2065, the palace predicted that a nuclear exchange between the U.S. and good old China would take place within the next 15 years. And decided to put all his resources in protecting his home city of Las Vegas. He has his own hotel, the Lucky 38 Casino, fitted with radar jamming systems, missile rays, a laser defense network, and lots of support systems. Oops. And there you go. There was only one ever constant in Vegas, and it was changed. It was almost fully prepared to prevent the apocalypse from touching my desert jewel, but without the platinum chip, I couldn't stop every missile. Prioritized protecting the suburbs in a few seconds I had a spare versus my laser defenses. Dragon missiles headed for the military industry. I want to go with this one. Incomplete OS. Following the Valiant Defense in New Vegas, house was thrown into Valiant Coma, and the majority of his dad and robots found themselves corrupted and inoperable for the following decades. Silent protectors incapable of movement or thought. When I was returned to consciousness, it was to make. Did he dare attempt to salvage his more advanced OS or did he simply fall back on a stable version? Now I want to say I want to be very aggressive in this campaign, but uh so I should have chosen military factors already, so I already have one regret, but oh well. Three families. House helps to rebuild the world, and to do so is to start by rebuilding his beloved Vegas. He begins with three great casinos that once were his own Lucky 38, going out to find groups suitable for each such establishment. Those who can finally or easily control and bring Vegas to the moxie it's going to need in the future. Unstable OS. That there, that there platinum chip. I couldn't upgrade my secure drones or my defenses. Numerous power cuts, rampant data corruption, and a coma were the result of my failure. I was faced with a painful choice, result reusing an older and very stable OS, or version of my pre-war OS. Or attempt to salvage and use an incomplete OS, which was designed to be more capable of, or capable of addressing waste and threats. Much older and stable version of my OS, which is very strong, took a risk and attempted to salvage parts of the complete incomplete OS. Let's hurt ourselves. New Vegas. The process of rebuilding Vegas didn't happen quickly, and even spending money hunting for his precious platinum trip and micromanaging the family of the strip, Allison found himself more than occupied. Despite this, he did find the time and money to invest in Vegas itself. Before the war, Las Vegas was a city of dreams, where fortunes were won and lost in an instant. To capture that feeling, reap the profits, to draw a crowd from across the waste with bright neon lights, I need to reopen the casinos and they needed families to run them. Vegas shall become the shining jewel of humanity's future. Expansion, inward or outward. My new Vegas was slowly coming together despite my early awakening, but decisions remain. I could either focus my attention on creating a rich inner Vegas or a poor free side, or I could attempt to include all of Vegas into my grand vision. Inner Vegas was my priority, it was predicted to make the most profit. Improving Outer Vegas with bolster public support. Reopening Gamora. First priority of my quest to rebuild Vegas was to wrest control of the city back from the drugs who squatted in it for centuries. The Oscars could wait. The media area surrounded, surrounded the Lucky 38. The coveted Vegas Strip was fiercely contested by two tribes. Both Slith the Kin and the Great Cons that are focused on drugs and their shared businesses made them competitors and enemies. It's clear to me that I would have to choose one group over the other if I desired to unite the rest and claim the city for myself. Initial propositions to both groups came up lukewarm, with the prideful great cons rejecting me outright, and so the kin dubious to my intentions then. The fiercest fighting between them began, and I saw my opportunity. No doubt the tribe of my choosing would see reason after my secure trans ejected the other from Vegas permanently. I desired a criminal element within Vegas to grease palms and run my black market smoothly and properly like the mafia used to before the, before the atom. But, even if I say the Great Cons, I risk splitting them into two th things to their stubborn Papa Khan and ask for Slit the Kin. While they might have seemed more agreeable than the Great Cons, they were all that much more slippery, their envious eyes said it all. Ultimately, they made by choice, Slit the Kin were incredibly dangerous. That's why I liked them so. This looks pretty good, honestly, that looks very good, actually. Consequences be darned, I would have my Khan eight. I, I won't go with the False Cons because I want that attack. False Cogging eight. Cool. Sorry, y'all. I like Gamora. But we're going to go immediately with Sunnydale Expedition. Two centuries ago, the Platinum Chip was lost in Sunnydale during the Great War. It cost Mr. House dearly and greatly, and so many scavenger teams to find as soon as possible by reopening the Ultra Lux. Or Ultra Lux. After dealing with the largest confrontation Vegas had seen in decades, I weeded him off newfound influence to great effect. Following my display of power, my many disenfranchised groups approached me for support. Well, this made known their opposition to my actions. For better or for worse, I was making a name for myself in the Mojave. Of all the groups that became known to me, two piqued my interest at the same time. The Fiends and a group whose name is better left said unsaid. <clears throat> the two of the former groups were, were the vicious raiders, the drug addicts, and utter savages. The leader Mo Moe Rona had a kind of criminal intelligence bottom, and reigned supreme in Vegas' ruined southern portions for years. However, despite their reputation for violence, the latter group was just as abhorrent, if not more so. Cannibals, that's what they were, devourers of the human body's forbidden fruits, and my god, the body has a lot of forbidden fruits. They squatted in Vegas' peak of refinement, the ultra lux, and hid from the Mojave at large. I had a clear choice. Either I beat the cannibals um, out of my neighbors, or I had the fiends show them how delectable their own innards were. Choice was simple. <clears throat> Walk the loves, but the fiends paint the town red. Well, if we go this way, 
<laughs> the AI will focus more on offense, but we're not the AI. We get more defense. And get attack and defense on core territory. And just fire war, more uh, war goal time on us. So this feels quite defensive in nature. While, while the White Gloves get more political power. You get wealthy contracts or contacts. You get abandoned cannibalism or human banquet. And you get more attack. And I said I want to be, you know, very high on the attack list. So <clears throat> we're going to go with the White Gloves for now. And we're opening the tops. After cleaning up the Ultra Lux, we're better for worse. I had one final casino to staff. The tops. And there's Prime. The tops were this place. The respectable middle class working man. He didn't offer carnal pleasures like his neighbor Gamora, nor were his drinks were as expensive as cigars, like in the Ultra Lux. Well, this place where the stakes were low, the drinks were hard, and the stage was populated with class acts. My Vegas needed that, a place for common people, and to recreate that feeling of comfort, I needed a class of crew. Thankfully, Vegas had no shortage of suave individuals looking to shortchange their own fellow man. Two groups struck out to me from the monks of the rest, the boot riders and the kings. The former were travel with nomads who first guns had nothing to do with pompadours and biggie band, but an upstart among the ranks, Benny was looking to shake things up and modernize group. On the other hand, although rambunctious and rowdy, the kings were already everything I needed and more. Their stubborn leader might have refused to bow his head once, but perhaps my offer wasn't good enough. It was time for Swing to make a comeback. The chairman, which is not bad, and arms workshops, civilian outposts, or civilian factories and outposts. Civility works for construction speed, which is quite good. Um, in my opinion, if, as a cultural advisor, you can get Benny, and that can help us, uh, intel network strength gain factor. I like that a lot, and you get some military factories on this side. As much as we want to build, get more war support, I think we'll go with the chairman. Despite being a snake, Benny's intelligence proved irresistible. We lose ooh, manpower. Uh, the pickle power goes down, stability goes up, training time goes down. Ooh, old world style, Joe, simple. We'll go with that one. We'll lose manpower, so be it. So be it. Um, if that's a case, I'd rather just use whatever we have right now if we can. There we go. Save that manpower. Sunny Bale Expedition. Carrier 6. I was setting out the delivery contract or contact or contract with Mojave Express. Secure John Victor was assigned by Mr. House to monitor the courier carrying the real package containing the chip. Secure John senses trouble coming. Report from Sunnyvale Expedition. Finally, after all these years, the platinum chip was found by Sunnyvale and Mr. House's hired excavators, scavengers, hired scavengers. In order to free for Vegas without delay, the Mojave Express was contracted immediately to deliver different packages between multiple couriers and with only one carrying chip. The rest will carry dummy packages as a throw off any wasteland miscreants. A PDQ 88B named Victor had been assigned to place the orders at the Mojave Express a, a office in Prim. Surely, the courier with the chip arrived safely. It's only a matter of time. The domino effect. They went that away. Either by miraculous luck or sheer endurance, Courier 6 was still alive and was ready to track down the killers and recover the platinum chip. What path will the courier take? That's a good question to ask. Ain't that a kick in the head? The courier carrying the platinum chip was ambushed and shot in the head. And good springs by a third party. But miraculously, he's still alive, and Victor dug him out of his own grave that, that very night and brought him to Doc Mitchell, where he shortly recovered. Fortunate setback. <coughs> Ring and ding ding. After trucking the Mojave, the courier manages to learn the location of the killer with the help of Victor. So to go to Vegas and find out who was all behind it. I wonder who it was. While making his way along the Mojave in search of the platinum ship, the courier managed to meet Victor again. Secure trying to discover that the man who stole the ship is known as resident of the strip in New Vegas. Coincidentally, that's where the platinum chip needs to be delivered. Victor could not make out who exactly committed the crime. He, be insur he ensured that the Curie 6 has led to the, in the right direction. Unleashed his wrath along the way. The Curie breathes through the Mojave like a ghost. The Curie utilizes his finesse and cutting Beach Vegas. Unleashed his finesse. Happy Trails Expedition. Ooh. Cannon, cannon and Flames. Uh, side bets. Organized agriculture. Very nice. Ring a ding ding. The courier arrived on the strip and confronted the killer in the Tops Casino. Revenge was swift and the platinum chip was recovered. Who is this killer and what is his motives? Uh, the assassin was a legion from Atari. The murder was an NCA Ranger. It doesn't matter, they're both responsible for this crap. So, the last time I played this, because I have played the Curious Six before, I did go down Ace in the Hole. So, I don't want to go down this path again. <clears throat> Even though I actually really love this path a whole bunch. So, actually, because I want to be aggressive, I want to go be where the Wrath of Kai's are. And we get the mark in which. Um, it's going to really screw us up here quite a bit. But the Fires of Vegas has... This assassin. Man, don't tread on me. Don't tread on the bear. Mojave Freedom, which I do want to do sometime. Let's see our range. Beware the Wrath of Kaiser. Shortly after exiting the tops, Vul Vulpus and Culto, the Legion approached the courier with the news that the mighty Kaiser invited them to the fort to discuss the matters of great importance with great rewards. However, Kaiser requires Mr. House out of the picture first as a test to prove the courier's willingness to cooperate with the Legion. Vulpus was close as a plan to put the courier in the power of Vegas, where he and a team of Frumentari agents will storm the Lucky 38 and set it ablaze. The NCR will pay for this. I will lead Vegas to victory. The NCR is cowardice out of this. Vulpus is 
and cult does plan to overthrow Mr. House. And but the courier and power must be must be accepted to ensure humanity does not repeat the mistakes of the old rule. The 60 day focus is a long time. Remove unstable OS, so we're just gonna use it anyways. Remove robotic genius, which does suck for us, and add rejection of automation, which basically renders a lot of technology that we have moot. Which sucks, but we'll get the fires of eight. <clears throat> but hopefully we still have the same technology level, so that won't be too bad. Planes though. Planes, planes, planes. Description, thank you. You, you might end up dying here. As my voice is starting to crack. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Um, uh, automated. Well, we probably won't go automated in the end, actually. Beloved stuff. Political power game, the White Glove Society. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, actually, can you keep going down this way? Yeah, we actually can, yeah. I mean, that would be bad, get more political power that way really fast, but... Our war and economy. Well-equipped stuff. Mmm, supply consumption ain't bad yet. Majory, I want to get her eventually, but let's just go ahead and do well with army. Vegas can be upgraded, nice. Alright. I want to go through this path for some. Render under Kaizal. Kaizal, after meeting with the Courier 6, ask him to destroy the Platinum Chip so it is never used to gain access to the Securitron Vault under the fort. And in addition to this, he suggests looking for allies in the coming wars, as well as destroying any potential enemies preemptively. Kaizo provide resources and equipment to aid Vegas in these efforts. Good. Very good. The fires of Vegas. The courier partners. With the vault plus Uncolta and the strike team of elite Frumentari agents to overthrow Mr. House and burn the Lucky 38 to the ground. The courier deceives Victor into temporarily disabling the security system, allowing Vulpus's agents to storm the tower. All oh, but the Courier and Vulpus are slaughtered in an attempt to make it past the Securitron guards. Uh, Vulpus plants explosives along computer circuitry in the penthouse while the Courier breaks into the control room. <clears throat> the Courier opens Mr. House's containment pod and an old decrepit man speaks. So why have you done this? Centuries of preparation, so much good undone. By Kaizo's command, you will die. Ooh. We'll become oligarchs and tyrants. Ooh. Goodbye, Mr. House. The elites rule now. Very cool. And this probably doesn't change anything here, does it? Tyrant. I like being a tyrant. Cult of Maz. Rejection of automation. But it's just research speed that goes down. If you want to this, please go ahead. Um, keep them from our lands. Actually, we're still demobilizing. There it says. We get less than that much manpower. Raid their supplies. Frisky. She's a fort. The piss the followers off quite a bit. Actually, that's not bad to do that one. Divert the supplies. Um, a small portion of followers stockpiles. No. Ah, adopt the denarius. Close the political ties with the, the bull inevitably led to themselves to combine ac tight economic bonds. By adopting the denarius voluntarily, we strengthen our trade links with our closest ally. It truly is a win-win. I yeah, we'll do that. Something a little different than what I normally do. Leg it to the west. Well, since we have this one almost done anyways. Yeah, Leg it to the west first. Kaza, ecstatic with the courier's work and loyalty, is named Legate of the West and is given a unique set of armor. Similar to the one worn by Lanius. A massive expeditionary force of inexperienced recruits and slaves is granted to the new Legate. They can be relegated to whatever task is needed, but it will take considerable time to train them. And we will need that time. Trust us. We will need that time. Um, in the meantime, two things here. Crowd control, because you can. Uh, what else? Robotics, land doctrine. Well, refined warfare. Outside of warfare. Um, asymmetric warfare. Ancient tactics. I mean, meta-wise, I mean, this is probably the way we want to go. Walking infantry. More defense. Strong right flank. Yeah, of course. Max of Trenchman, Trenchman Speed, The Legion. So we're not really going to be using robots in this campaign, so not too much. Well, we did. Why don't they leave? 
Um, before we can adopt the Denarius. You know, you must just get some more army, daily army XP gain. Might as well at this point. Planning, internal repair. Focus yet? But we haven't got there yet. Look at the west. Good. Hmm. Sensitive artist. Reserved AI. Max trench is not bad. Army experience gain. General repair. Hmm. Well, we did that one. We can't do the king. We went with Benny. So with this one, we have at least three here. Civilian, stability, war sport. Hmm. Read them. Again. As long as we're no longer demobilizing, we'll be fine. Actually, can we go... Oh, we, gotta, we need 150. That's fine. Seize fort. Well, it looks like they're going to be here no matter what. God dang it. We're going to adopt it. Why not? We're going to put that pussy head. That's... Kind of dumb. What the heck, man? Well, we'll save. Continue using these weapons. It'll be a different type of weaponry, maybe. We'll see. Scout kits. We'll see. We'll see where we end up. Gliders. Crawl control, yes. Uh, we need a lot of guns. Thank you. Western expedition. No, I'll get away for that one. Motorized flight. Not bad. Barge balloons for now. Spawn warrior training's okay. A little bit ahead of time for that one. Uh, ship stuff. A little bit ahead of time for that stuff. Just do that one anyways. Alright, side bets. The reunion. Oh, my papa. We can come back and do this a little later, because we do need to kill off some other people too. Huh. Look at the west. Kaza, excited of the courage working loyalty, names him as a third legate. Kaza graces a courier with a unique set of armor, similar to the one worn by Lanius, and grants him control of a massive expeditionary force of inexperienced recruits and slaves. The best part of this assignment is that they can be relegated to whatever task is needed, but it'll take considerable time to train them. True to Kaza, Legate Ossidens becomes leader of the Elite's party. Be known as the Western Legion, more manpower, political power, Legate of the West. Uh, it requires quite a bit more vivid training time, but not bad. And the Ultralux. The Ultralux is an establishment of incredible refinement that delicately conceals its operators' more questionable tendencies. There are none who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the Strip. Whoa. Nice. Manpower wise, we're looking pretty decent right now. Um, defense. Yeah, I definitely want to get this one. I just want to get all of them in the end. Uh, Silversmiths. Stability, uh, can you need some more stability? Hmm. Well, since we have them here anyways, use them and abuse them. There you go. We need to go up anyways eventually too. Not bad. Could be better though. Look it to the west. Tyrant. And that's just research speed. We can still use robots. Care about an ambush? At least we can try, yes please. You know, we could... Yeah, I mean, we could, but... Well, we still want to keep training some guys here. Mm, 16 is not bad. I think... If I remember correctly, the combat should still be the same-ish. No matter what. So we want some special forces as well. Um, we'll use robots for now, but then I think really... It's going to be infantry that we're going to really focus on a lot more. So apologize if we're not going the way you want us to, but it, it is what it is. Um, do we still have an non-crushing pack with these guys? Yeah, we do. What if we were going to war with these guys? Um, what other things do we have in our focus tree here? Because I, I don't know exactly what we have. Uh, let's go over here first. If we can do anything ahead of time, it'll be that. New Vegas. Upgrades, yes, very nice. Side bets, create our own faction, but we're already part of this faction. Yeah, we're part of the Legion already, so. So, which do I want to go down this way? I could make you 
care. You got a lot of power armor too. For our laying sign. Well, there you. The carriers received signal coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Following the coordinates are the words Courier 6 at St. Ulysses. Town investigate whether the Chris what this cryptic message actually means. We have militia, technically, so yeah. Mm. Yes, you get more daily army XP, that's good. The reunion. Could you guys actually just like hang out here and take these guys out? That's kinda cool. But first, we probably want to grab after that. Let's actually come down here and get uh false con as well. It's better just fight war goal at times. Well, the White Glove Society. The White Glove Society has come a long way from the traditional cannibal roots, with fancy masks and jazzy suits. They help to make people forget what they once were by simply becoming something else entirely. Gamora. Where the strips casinos are refined, the Gamora is rough around the edges and coarse. It offers sleazy sex for sale. To have the attractions, this is prostitution, then booze and drugs, and finally gambling in the false con. When Mr. House emerged from his slumber, he found two gangs fighting for control of the Vegas streets. House threw his way behind the cons, allowing them to defeat the Omeritus for control of the streets. The cons were thankful for the help, but did not want to serve House, no matter how much you bribe them. Said, they left the city, that is, all but a small group of cons who now advise New Vegas. Not bad. Asymmetric warfare? Not bad. Forging? Absolutely necessary. Uh, procurement of things. Begin scavenging program as well. Political bribes? Probably don't need them right now. I want to be aggressive. No, we can't go this way. Just fine, whatever. False cons, yes please. So we have one. Defense, recovery rate. Eh, I want to be okay. The reunion. Planning speed? Ooh. I'll probably go with this guy. Let's see. Anything else here? Discourage trade. Investigation of the message of the man named Ulysses led to a place called the Divide. The legends say that this area is a thriving white sanded community. Now it's reduced to rubble with constant strong winds that can peel your skin off. To be able to find Ulysses and learn the secrets of this place, the outlying areas of hope. The only action must be secured to allow a deeper investigation of the Divide's more dangerous places. What a waste is in such a place. The Divide's territories? Ooh, does that mean we'll go to war with these guys early on? Uh, but we can't even get to them. Huh. The Tops. The Top offers a classic Vegas experience with cool, hip, fun, macho posturing to entice those with a sense of style. It's a place for manly men to, uh, with a dame on each arm, and the people that run it are just as ritzy. Also, to do this one, we need to have the false con active. So, a few people have called the called the spy cats worn by the cognate silly, ugly or otherwise unfashionable. But no people have said such things more than once on the count of missing teeth. But the chairman. The chairman embodies an ancient cool aesthetic of Vegas. <clears throat> Plucked from Mr. House's historical data bank. Smoted to be the slickest cats in town, the chairman have become more than Vaughn Butte gangsters. They have become the genuine article dangerous men playing dangerous games. Now we can't do the saddle quite yet either because we need to have a controller. We need to own that. So there's not a whole bunch for us here right now, but we'll get to this in just a little bit later. And after this one, army the chairman might as well. Oh, has, oh wait, well duh, to get this one, to get the false con. That's just uh, advisor. So, duh. Reinforce rate. You know what? Actually, probably this one next. Yeah, we'll do that one probably. And we're trying to get a lot of support companies here. I love me some support companies. Um, kind of can wait for this stuff. You can probably do that one ahead, anyways. And what else? Land doctrine's coming along very nicely. Plans are coming along very nicely as well. No issues with that at all for now. Um, oh, this one. We got a healthy amount of robots, healthy amount of uh, infantry for now. Obviously, it could be better, but whatever. What else is new? Try playing Tucker, just please. Make a crap ton of those when you're done, as well as doggos. So you at the bottom. As our allies are killing a whole bunch of people. Which is great. So hopefully, uh, you know what? I decided, you know what? Let's not take out these guys, Area 51, as much as I'd like to. Because we have to go to war with these guys. The NCR. We're going to have to use, basically, this small little pathway through here. Maybe even through, with the fiends. Help pull the line against the god dang NCR. As well, we'll still continue to build ourselves up as well. So, Building more civvies, more millies. You know, all the good stuff. And getting some more soldiers, too. 
Boss Connor? Yes, please. The Chairman. Fancy Pickle Hoppers. It gives more stability, more support too, which is very good. Very, 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 very good. Keep building up that e new Vegas economic zone. Yeah, as much as I want to do that, we go to 2279, though, unfortunately, for that stuff, so. Alright, next. I can't do that one yet. Let's grab this one. It's a little ahead of time, but no one really cares. Bearing the hatchet? There's no point in furthering the bitter rivalry between our Khan advisors and the Khan who reside in the north. The Great Khan's hated support for the false Khan's that live in Vegas, and we see a great problems in an lasting alliance with the Great Khan's. Maybe it's time to resolve our problems and go forward together. One of the problems must be true. They bypass it. 12 day focus. We'll see. You know what? Maybe we'll convince them more if we just put a lot of soldiers on their borders. Nothing says cooperation like soldiers on your borders. Also, we did throw on a couple support companies on our, not these guys, infantry divisions like demo teams, anti-tank, fire teams. Doggos are good for suppression. And actually hurt your organization as well. It give you slightly more recon as well, but, you know, whatever. That's for recon purposes. Supply-wise, supply use is actually very high. Three point, oh boy. It's even less than that, huh? We might use logistics, we'll see. Send out manual prospectors? Sure, why not? Demand reduced conscription? When selected? They can, they can go kill themselves, no thanks. Refugees. Don't really care, but go and stop hurting our stability for now. There's no way to get more stability there, is it? Not really. Ah, the fall of Diana. I love it. It's a 12-day focus, too. Oh, Iron gets her. Nice. Good. And two days left. Got a lot of reinforced rate. Ooh, actually, I'll throw you right there, too. Why not? Um, and we'll go with Ancient Tactics. Decimation. Very nice. What else we got here? It's about the Riff Raff. Bear in the Hatchet. Uh, wealthy Contracts. Or Wealthy Contacts. Well, Glove Society treats with the best and wealthiest people from all across the Wasteland. and be the Bay Barons from the Republic, visiting gangsters from New Reno or the Lone Wanderers with a fortune to throw at the slots. Reaching out of the cons. Our relationship with the cons has always been rocky, but recently, trade and communication between the two of us has reached an all-time high. We've even begun political approachment with the Khanates, making a series of promises ranging from protection to seizing and support of the false con with the host. Their reaction seems warm, and we believe the time is now, to right, right now, to formalize a defense back between the two of us, which will be mutual beneficially. Mutually beneficial. We need to put aside our differences. Yes, no? They accept. We have signed a mutual assistant treaty with the Greek Khans. It's an exchange for complete military cooperation. We agree to stop supporting the false Khans we once were. Instead, military advisors from the Great Khans themselves provide us useful input. Wonderful. Nice. That's a lot of... That's so much reinforced rate. Well, since we're here, and I do want to go to war eventually... Keep training for now. We got such a hodgepodge group here. Keep training though. That'd be nice. Wolf of contacts. The lucky 38 opens. Might as well keep going down with this way. Um, like I said, I do want to make sure we get more attacks. So, not possible. Simply forget what, who, and what you are. Even, even the white glove society slipping into the similar older practices. Don't worry though. They aren't a threat to you. They only enjoy the finest of meats. I, I, I am a fine meat. I know I'm a fine meat. Some of the finest meats. Very meaty. Military society, not worth it, not worth it. Goodbye. Refugees. We have 2,003 refugees, huh? Assimilate them. Hurry up. Or just beat the crap out of them. Or both. Sparados, not bad. Keep working under military factories. We need more secure trons, which is pretty normal. We need a lot more of this. Working on this. We need some of this, too. Yeah, I think it's going to take some serious time to get, too. But that's okay. At least we're relatively strong. With Lanius still existing. With Kaiser's Legion not exploding yet because of the civil, potential civil war. Not bad. And Diana's dead, too. Which is pretty good for us, too. Twice in two lifetimes. Not bad. It's been a while since I played Old World Blues in the town's recording, which is, you know, unfortunate. 
But we'll see what happens when I get another update someday. Contact, oh crap, contact lost. And you always find the contact no matter what. Nice. Yum yum. Humans. More user speed? Sure, why not? Human banquet, and then arm of the German. The German always had an eye for what's up, be it in the nice the suits they wear, or the snazzy casino they live in, or the soothing rat a tat tat of the unslung, underslung atomic guns they wield against those unlucky enough to insult their dames. Guns like that don't come cheap, but thankfully they've got caps to spare. Nice. And that's why I wanted to go to war with some other people, too. Four days left, not bad. More aid? Might as well. Local workshops and spaces? Nice. And after that, we'll go do that one. Benny's New Deal. The chairman of the most profitable casino on the strip, and wealth like that lets him throw a lot of weight around when it comes high time for the families to decide what no business, nobody business is getting when the amount of caps trickle down from the strip. And then look, look, look 38 opens. And the most prominent element in New Vegas skyline, and look at 38 is a pre-war relic and an enduring monument to Mr. House's vision in Las Vegas. Luxury without decadence, refinement without elitism, and class without snobbery. And here we are at everybody, in which right now we are at war with the White Legs, as well as these guys down here too, because... Why not? Because we can, basically. Um, we don't get, lose any defense, so I decided, you know what, let's go attack. See what happens. Uh, I can be Mr. Special Forces here, so... Quick capture Rachel would not be bad. Commando, though. Be good for you, and you get what? Negotiator? Next plan wouldn't be bad. Cover rate ain't bad, too, either. Beloved leader? Uh, ooh, more attack. No, we gotta go with more attack. Ah, oh, good. Sentry watch is not bad. But you guys just kind of hang out for now. Uh, Splice is kind of bad over there, which is not good for us. It says you guys can win pretty darn well, but, you know, we'll wait and see. All these guys who attack us again, but... Of course, none of our allies are here to help us out, which sucks. You guys actually win there? No? Okay, then. You guys actually go up there, too. Actually, you guys are sort of here-ish to help us out, so... Yeah, I might just be able to win there, maybe. We'll see. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's hold. Everyone else hold. They're attacking us, which is fine with us. Uh, finally, for the party, sure, why not? Get some of that, too. That'd be good. And keep doing this. Guys, it's only 2277 still, so I'm not too worried about it yet. Yeah. We'll let them get a lot of experience. Bane's new deal. And like I said earlier, Lucky 38 opens. And I only, I only caught on these guys the great cons, not these guys, so... I really want us to... I had the full experience. Oh, crap. Oh, Navajo. Okay. That's fine. How many? We lost 210. Not bad. Plenty of minutes spare. Also, I do want to take all... I just want to annex all these guys. That is my goal in the end. Just to straight up annex them all. So. No cash amount of army XP. No cash amount. I'll go on that way. And you up to out. And you do that too. Or to get rid of that just in general. They will attack us again, just like down here. They will attack us as well. Of course, we are getting dangerously close on the edge of the border where we don't get any extra support, so. We'll see. Hey, everyone hold. Just hang out and hold. A little bit of war support, not bad. Still can't do anything here, which does kind of suck. We're already on outside of battalion, which is pretty good. The king, can't do him, so... Civilian factor construct speed. Mess New Vegas is probably the way we want to go, but we'll go with Wasteland Survival Training first. Ooh. We're making the millies. That'll be nice. That'd be very nice, actually. Wow, is that fire over here? Can you do anything here, maybe? No? You can get pierced easily. Uh, got some support robots. We need a little bit more demo equipment. So over here, actually, for special ops, go and throw some demo equipment on them. Obviously, we won't have enough, but that's all right. We got. Some, we need some sort of conflict or war here, while we're just buying our time and we can core all this territory too eventually as well. Which would be nice. Reservation, of course. They're attacking us. Whatever. That is what it is. One monthly population, which doesn't help us that much, but it does give us a free city, which I do prefer. Pot standardizations. Come down here. The lucky 38 opens. Oh, we got. We won. Air response network. Firearms. Uh, small arms. Innovations. 
A common man in Vegas deserves a weapon that's cut above the rest. It's reasonable to be unreasonable when it comes to spending caps and firearms after all. We struggle here, we struggle. It is what it is. Nationwide simulation. We got the political power. We all have plenty of political power, probably for a long time, honestly. No, 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 no. Rabbit response network. Uh, the Mojave New Vegas has survived. Well, we need to able, we shall need to be able to defend any corner of it at a moment's notice. This means investing in a crumbling infrastructure. Defense, soft attack, hard attack. Why not? Probably use more robots. That's supply consumption. It's probably a little high right now too. Probably honestly a little bit too high for my liking. Nice. Plasma weaponry. Huh. Imagine the West Legion gets plasma weaponry. That's kind of nuts to think about. Oh, that's not good. Y'all keep struggling over here. You're doing you're doing well. You're doing well, son. Now two divisions is not enough to take out seven, probably. Probably not. So if that's the case. We'll put you guys over here. Three thousand ain't bad. For enemy losses, body militias. We lose a little bit of construction speed, but whatever. Get more organization. I would like to attack Frisco City. Actually, Frisco City is a supply point. And if we take that, they won't have that. And if they don't have that, then we'll do really well. At least that's the idea. Advanced smelteries. And next level smelteries. Um, well, we can't build anymore. We're already maxed out, which sucks. Well, I mean, if you really want to help attack here, it's fine by me. Out of Vegas security, robotics, H&H oh, &H Tools grand reopening. H&H &H Tools factors of House's family and company. Robert House's half brother Anthony House cheated the inheritance of the company from Mr. House when their father died. Anthony House suffered from paranoia, which led to increasingly severe security measures at the company between 2020 and 2023. It's taken this long to get the doors open again, huh? Go figure. Actually, do we have an airbase around here? No, we don't, which does kind of suck, but since we can't even build anything else. Oh, we can't even build anything there, too. We can't even build our allies. Well, that sucks. Tactics? No tactics. Well, that sucks. Not having supply is also sucks, too. But by God, he's learning a lot. I love it. You probably can't win here, can you? No, it's fine. Well. They are attacking like a bunch of crazies. They do, do a good amount of manpower, too, but whatever. Um, what else do we have? 2278. Yes. We're going to make even more divisions, too. You might actually do well there if you do that. I mean, it'll be a while before Wild Legs actually fully capitulates, so. This war's gonna last quite a while longer. Actually, you could probably do that too. And do relatively okay. My gosh. Of course, I don't want to throw any more divisions up here too, also. Because supplies. Are really oh, actually, supplies are not terrible. Um. Roads. Wait, why can't we build roads? Uh. Well, that's not good. Why can't we build roads? Can't build anything over here. I mean, this thing is not our territory, but still, actually. We can deal with it. Build that, because it gives you just a slight bit of supply. Slight bit. It ain't very much. Good, good, good. Grand reopening, might as well. And then, there you go. And Robco are born. Oh, we might still use robots, we'll see. Uh, vehicles, neon sign lights. 
War labs? Why not? War never changed, but the weapons we use in it most certainly do. If we're going to fight our foes, we need to evolve just as the Wasteline has. And also my 278. So after this war, that'll be good. Uh, with three divisions, can we actually win here? Treasure trope. Oops, I should have read that one, but oh well. We'll probably still lose here. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. I guess I'll pierce us. Yeah. Ah, yeah, build these. Uh, are they going to mobilize more, maybe? Oh, they have. 25 divisions max. It's fine, whatever. We'll be fine. I was hoping we could get every cap for the army, but apparently we still can't. K information is not bad. And then this one, more defense. That's pretty good. Can you guys do anything actually going to Lincoln? If they're attacking. I mean, that sets us up to be pretty risky right here, but if we can take Lincoln, that might just be enough for them to, like, capitulate, but I kind of doubt it. We can afford this. Nice. More next planning. There you go. And everybody's nice. Go up here now. Oh, go right there. There you go. Now we should be able to do some serious damage. We have Lincoln now, so that does give us a little more supply, which is actually really nice. Um, if we could go right here and then circle those divisions, that'd be great. Kill them off. And we pretty much won the war there. Move the foxes, please. Advanced generators. Grab some of that, too. Beautiful. Out of supply and out of life. And out of time. War Labs. They're still attacking us like crazy. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Military Academy training, very nice. And then, just like the simulations. How else was running tactical simulations long before the world fell apart? Still doesn't give us good insight on how to go about fighting enemies out in the wasteland. What are we going to do this? Could you actually win here? No. It'll stretch our lines quite a bit, but that's alright. This repeats itself, cool. There's still one division there. If it dies, it dies. We're really stretching our front lines though, which does suck, but whatever. Beautiful. Nope. Go suck yourself, you ain't gonna get anything from us. Ah. And now they attack us like a bunch of crazies. Which I'm currently okay with. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually be able to win here, down here for a while. Quite unfortunate. Build supply point there too, you might as well. So rather doing this well with robots, to be honest with you. I'm surprised. War labs. Just like the simulations. Swank. Jessup's not bad. Philip? Uh, we'll go with Philip for now. Look at the car. And then uh, out of Vegas security. The Outer Vegas security force is the closest thing to a standing non-robotic army New Vegas has since the families rolled into town. Volunteers are with the best strip, best of strip that can provide, risking their lives to protect the interests of the city. Pretty much, man. Pretty much.
Doing the Lord's work here. Oh man, they're definitely beefing themselves up here. You got a thousand manpower now. Stockpile, they've got a lot of guns. And a lot of equipment. Or that is pure. I don't think we can really do anything there. Need more security robots. Demo equipment's okay. Engine tank is okay as well. Should be able to win here and even push further north up as well, probably. Nothing we can do here. No sign tactics right now. She does really suck. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. That locks demise, the center cannot hold. No go, you ding dong. And they get there before we even do, can do anything. God dang it. Force defense. Call it personality, not bad. More breakthroughs, good. My god, is this a struggle? Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we just die there? How do we die there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Break them out. Break them out. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got worried there. Just like the simulations, out of bank of security. Well, at this point, I gotta send half of you guys over here. We need more divisions up top because we got those divisions destroyed, which is a terrible thing to happen. Terrible. The wild legs are notorious for being very strong, even though it doesn't look like it sometimes. What are we missing here? Firearms? God dang firearms. Um, lower infantry equipment by one. So we can start working on the firearms. What happened to it? Come on. We need firearms up here. In the meantime, caravan guards. Pacification. That'll be good. Way more compliance, please. Forgot about that stuff. Uh, political business favor is cool. Technology. Well, read a couple more pokes before we keep going on. Damage yeah, bouncing. That's nice. Vehicle restoration. A lot of places in the wasteland that could put cars back together. We're a bit behind the uptake, but New Vegas is more than capable of sustaining that industry. We might as well invest. Mobile warfare. Vehicles are great for trade, but they are just as valuable in times of war. A small force of eager young souls formed a small scouting group on behalf of Vegas. Can't do this one yet. That's be nice to do. Kaz knows total war with the NCR is inevitable, but he also knows his time on Earth may end soon. In anticipation of this, Kaz are a new legged task. Conquer the Mojave. Militia arms. Local militias from each of the little settlements and communities have requested arms from which to defend themselves. Settlement of discounts is a good way to ensure safety and sustainable business. The Boomer Agreement. The Boomers to the north are a bit of a wild card when it comes to interaction. Half is likely to blow you to pieces they are to engage in the same conversation, but the promise of plans is enough to bait them into an official alliance with New Vegas. And Lake Mead's Super Fortress. Uh, oh, Vegas Prime. Oh, uh, the Super Fortress. Uh, below takes Mead as a true treasure, but so is the capacity to repl replicate it. For example, of these, we're going to show our lots of the boomers once for all. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.